check this out with this new camera feature you can target specific color and make adjustment to that specific color independently more on that later in this video now what i'm really excited about is this lens blur feature right here now with this new tool you can control the blur of your image even after you take the image so just come to your lens blur and just click on apply and just going to analyze the image and apply the blur so you can see the before and the after just look at the background the before and the after wow and also you have the amount which is how intense you want this blur to be so you can make the blur more intense by taking this slider up to 100 percent and the blur is just going to be intense as you can see so let me just zoom in a little bit so if i take it down you can see it's less intense if i take it up it's more intense so that's for this blur amount and for the bouquet you have the option to customize your bouquet so this is the first one right here so you can choose this other one you can choose this you can choose this so you have different options to choose from but this first one is okay and also you can boost the amount of bouquet you want so if i just move this up it's going to just boost the bouquet in the background okay now we have another option right here which is this focal range now this focal range gives you the option where you can select where you want to blur or where you want to be in focus so if i just click on this visual depth right here you can see this part that are yellow is the part that are on focus it's just going to analyze it and if i start moving this focal range towards the background towards the purple side you can see those part that are white right now are the parts that will be in focus and this part that are yellow are going to be blurry so if i just turn off this visualize depth you can see the subject now is blurry and the background is on focus and if i just move it towards the subject again you can see the background is blurry and the subject is on focus so that's how this focal range work and you can choose to select subject or with this pointer icon right here you can choose to point and select where you want to be in focus so if i just click on this pointer and select the background it's going to make the background be in focus and the subject is going to be blurry and i can just pick on this two again and just click on the subject and the subject is going to be in focus and the background is going to be blurry so that's for this focal range right here now we have another option if i just click on this job that icon you are going to see refine so if i just click on it you can see we have focus brush and blur brush so let's say i want this part of the image to be blurry i can just pick my blur brush and just increase the size of the brush as you can see or decrease the size of the brush then increase the amount of the blur which i want to add and decrease the amount of blur which i want to add and just feather the brush and you can choose the flow to 100 percent or 50 percent if you want so you have options to adjust your brush so if i just paint on this place right here it's just going to make this part blurry just like this and if i want this part to be in focus i can just click on my focus brush and just brush on this part and add this part to be in focus wow this is amazing i really really like this feature okay now you can just click on this place to reset it so that's for the less blur just use it to the best of your ability and remember if you are applying it just make sure the amount is set to minimum and not 100 percent because it's going to look fake so just try and get the sweet spot and just leave it at that now another new feature that was added to camera Raw is this color pointer right here so before if i try to adjust all the shade of yellows and i just come to my yellows and just play with the saturation of the yellows it's going to affect the whole shades of yellows but with this new point color right here you can target a specific shade of yellow so if i just click on this eye dropper tool right here and just sample this first color right here now this feature has already been in camera Raw. let me just go to my camera Raw and show you i want to target this specific color right here i just go to my color i'll click on color editor and i'll click on advanced and with my picker tool selected i'm just going to sample this color right here and just take down the smoothness and click on this view selected color range so that i can see colors that are selected or not so the, the colors that are not selected are going to be black and white so once this view selected color range is checked i'm just going to remember i sample this first one right here i want only this color so i'm just going to remove the smoothing and just take it down to fit only and just adjust it to fit that color right here so you can see only this color is selected so right now i can play with the hue and saturation of that particular color so i already have this feature in capture one before adobe decide to release it in camera and lightroom so let me just go back to camera and show you how you can do it with camera so this is our camera after i sample this color right here and i try to play with the hue and saturation you can see it's affecting all the shades of yellow now the first thing i have to do is just move this range down to about zero percent because we're targeting only this specific color so right now if i play with the hue and saturation you can see it's not affecting this 
shade of yellow it's only affecting these two shade of yellows right here so if i just play with it you can see so for this box right here if you take it to the right and left you are moving the hue and if you take it to the up and down you are moving the saturation and this place right here is the luminance. so if i take it up and down i'm increasing the luminance like that so you can do it right here or you can use the slider to shift it so since i targeted only this color and i don't want the rest shades of yellow to be affected so i'm going to click on this eye icon right here and those parts that i selected are going to be black and white just like capture one all right now i'm just going to take this range to zero percent like this as you can see and if i also try to move it right now you can see it's still affecting those two colors right here but i want it to affect only this color right here all right now to do that just click on this drop that icon right here once you click on it you are going to see hue range saturation range and luminous range now this two right here is to help you focus on the range of the color so i'm just going to move this place inside like this just to focus on that particular color right there okay also i'll move the saturation inside like this just to focus on only that particular color and also for the luminous i'm going to move it inside like this because i want to focus on only that particular color right there so these tools right here are the feather so how much you want to feather it those are the two right here so i'm going to feather it inside a little bit remember i'm targeting only that particular color right there okay So you can see immediately I feather it is going away from these two color. So if I just take the feather of the hue back, you can see it's affecting those color. But immediately I start to feather it, it's going to turn gray just like that. All right. Now we have only this color selected. Now any adjustment I make right now is going to affect only that color which I selected. So if I just turn on this screen to see the overall color. And I just play with the hue, saturation, and luminance. It's going to affect only this color which I selected. And it's not going to affect the rest color. Now let's use this image right here as another example. So let's say I want to target the um, yellowish green on this image. Okay, let's click on this sample to right here and just sample this yellow color. And right now, if I move the hue and saturation, you can see it's also affecting the greens of this side of the image. But I don't want that. I want it to affect only this bright yellows right here so to do that i'm just going to come to my range and just click on the range so i can see where it's selected so those parts that are black and white are no longer selected those parts that are green are the part that are selected but i don't want it to affect these greens right here so i'm just going to take the range down to about zero percent so you can see it's still affecting it a little bit now i can just move now i can just move this range right here and just take it to be more specific like this and just move the feather away from those green parts like that now you can see the green right now is no longer selected is now black and white so any adjustment i make right now is not going to be affecting that other green it's just going to be affecting this bright yellow green right here so if i just click on this place right here to turn the color on and i just play with it you can see it's affecting those yellow greens right there which i selected so i target that place specifically so that's why it's affecting only that particular place so you can do this for any color of your image i'm mostly excited about the lens blur because i already know this feature inside of capture one i know i can do this in capture one but that lens blur is a game changer for me i'm going to be using that a lot and if you want to learn how to retouch your image you just won't click click on this description right here i'll see you guys in my next one stay creative